the Z for marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com. We're in about 20 minutes on uh, the 21st of January, Martin Luther King birthday with a couple of ideas for traders that are hanging out. A reminder to use risk capital you can afford to lose if you're playing this game. <clears throat> Very light action today and this is a quickie video for our traders just to show you <clears throat> what I mean by the differential. <clears throat> there's, there's a differential that I talk about a lot that gets balanced out <clears throat> after some time. And this is uh, an example of it. <clears throat> this blue box on the, in the middle of the screen represents <clears throat> the range of the Globex uh, trading day on Friday. <clears throat> and the green box represents the RTH value. <clears throat> and we close uh, in that 71 and a half area settlement. <clears throat> but the late close, the late push was right up into that 77 and change, <clears throat> almost 78, where we had as resistance. And then we open up uh, both Globex and RTH with a gap down, and we're coming back to kind of neutralize that differential. And so if you really want to understand what I mean by differential, you can take that range and then what you want to do is kind of show the difference between that range and what the previous range was there. And then this now becomes what I call our differential. Okay, and it, and it shows me that usually we need to come backwards to help compensate for that differential because we had much more range in, in an up day when we considered the entire range of the day. And so a regression trade makes sense, really, uh, because it's evening out that process. And this will happen a lot, and, and it won't happen every time, <clears throat> but make a note of it when we get that kind of an extreme and we shortchange the shorts on their dues to close a gap and we sweep and knock out their stops at the end of the day screaming up here for whatever reason, this is where you do not want to get caught, especially over a long holiday weekend. So, so I'm sure very few traders played that range and, and certainly very few traders played overnight and are playing even today. But it helps you to learn about these concepts and learn about these ideas that we talked about. <clears throat> we had had a 52 support <clears throat> from Friday. <clears throat> so we're relying on that when I said today, let's use 54, 52 support. We're relying on that notion to help us don't get too cute on the short side because that's still support until broken. So again, I present these ideas. You can always learn <clears throat> if you're sitting there with a cup of coffee doing nothing but taking a look at this, great. Um, these ideas uh, would never stop learning. I think it's an important part of this business. And a reminder, <clears throat> you never want to allow someone else to <clears throat> dictate your results. We talked about that in, in the chat room there this morning where I said <clears throat> a lot of people are complaining about the football game, the Saints, and, and I was rooting for the Saints. <clears throat> but you know what? They really had the opportunity to win the game in overtime. <clears throat> they lost multiple opportunities early to score. They didn't play defense when they needed to. One of the key plays in the game was when uh, they had the trick play on, on the punt. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, they've got a first down. And then, uh, obviously, it uh, turned the momentum around for the Rams. So you can't blame any one play. It's an accumulation of plays, and you have to take responsibility for your own life. And I believe the Saints have to do that too. It was a bad call, yes. But you never want one bad call to take you out of the game. Same thing with trading. Never want to let one bad trade take you out of the game because you just fight the market.
If you're wrong, give it up. And that's hard for me to say because I really want to see the <clears throat> Saints win. My son, son-in-law went to school. LSU loves uh, LSU football, loves the Saints. I was rooting for them. Cleveland Browns didn't get as far as I wanted to this year, but did better than last year. But So I was rooting for the Saints. <clears throat> but my dad was a very avid sports fan, and that was a lesson he taught me way back when. He said, never blame the rest. Just part of the game, and you got to take it. You take responsibility and play your best and let the chips fall where they do. So no excuses, and same thing with our trading. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, terrible, terrible range, terrible action to be expected. It reduce your expectations today. <clears throat>